Today we're looking at the date time to string method. <coughs> and once again I'm working on a, a tutorial on directory info and file info. But I'm doing so much formatting in order to display that information. I thought doing a couple videos on the formatting would be as helpful if not more helpful than uh, than the tutorial itself <laughs> on directory info and format info. And this is especially true of a date time to string because so often you want to display a date and time. And this shows a variety, I think probably a comprehensive variety of all the standard formats plus a, a number of custom formats of how to display date time as a string if you're putting it in a document. The basic format of uh, date time is you take the date time variable, you put a dot and then two string method, and then you put the date time format within the param uh, parentheses of the two string. If you look at the code I'm using to do this, once again I'm using my main title subtitle, but this time I'm actually displaying some useful information like standard format and custom format. And then I have an array, uh, a string array that has the standard formats like small d, large d, small f, uh, capital F, and so on. And then I do a for each that goes through my standard format string and successively reads in each of the standard formats to the, a variable called standard FMT and I do a string format uh, that first shows the standard format, in other words the D or the capital D, and then does a, a date time variable to string of that format and then shows how that displays and looks. And because I don't want you guys to have to compile and run this code in order to see these formats, I put what the formats are in a uh, and comments after it. Like the D shows the date time format as the standard date time and so on. And uh, the date time variable itself, you can initialize a date time to an actual date and specify the year, month, uh, day, hour, minute, second uh, in the date time uh, parameters if you want to say a specific value or you can just instantiate the date time variable and then set it to date time now which will get the current date and the current time uh, which is probably a pretty common practice especially if you're doing a listing and putting a date on that listing of when it was made so this goes through all the standard formats and then if we scroll down I have a second uh, section that does custom formats and you can see some custom format strings and essentially works the same way goes through uh, in a for each loop and shows the custom format and how the date value displays for that format and once again I have comments showing what's actually displayed so if we compile and run this program and then I press the increasingly erroneous get directory and file info button which hopefully will actually display directory info and format one of these days or maybe it never will maybe the whole thing's entirely ser serendipitous that's right I said serendipitous look it up <laughs> but this shows the uh, dates and times like small d displays this date large D displays the day name and the month name and so on and depending on what you want you'll probably uh, want to pick different formats although I suspect the first couple of formats will be the most common and here's the custom formats and as I said they're in comments in the code so you can go to my website and look at the source code and see what these different uh, date time to string formats display. Well, 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, you learned a lot. And don't forget to subscribe.